Hello, come along with us today as we put on a set of Rock Slide Engineering step sliders. This is Jeeping Mo. Rock Slide Engineering did a great job designing these. We'll walk you through routing the wires and getting them installed on a manual JLU. So if you open them up and they hit something, they go, they'll go right back up eventually. That way if you are on a rock or you're somewhere, it'll actually go back up and won't just try to power through it. So these aren't just made out of sheet metal, they're fairly thick and they get these gussets in them every so often. Now they're not as hardcore as a solid tube or something. You hit these a little bit and it won't affect it. But they're fairly stout. Even the main supports are fairly thick. You can stand on it and it doesn't move. Okay, so let's look at the install on these rock sliders. So you have to take off the three body mounts. You take off the three body mounts, one in the back. Take those off slow. If you break those bolts, don't go at them with an impact. Each of these mounts get a special bracket onto the slider. So these sliders mount three spots on the body as well up in these little pockets. It mounts in three spots into the pinch weld of the body. So there's quite a bit of strength there. He's never far behind. So they also make a, an, an extra piece of armor in case you really want to beat on these. So you can slide a little harder on these. Now you can beat on them a little bit, but we don't do any, any hardcore rock sliding, if you will. But they're nice if you have someone who has trouble getting into the lifted Jeep. They really make a easy job out of that. The wiring comes through the back. I'll show you how to, I'll show you all that. They're really, they're quite durable. Also this piece of rubber that's here, it's mounted on this plastic strip, that goes on with some double-sided tape. Make sure that when you slide this on, that that's in the right spot. The power connectors come through the drain plugs in the back of the floor. You can see here, I actually, they call it, a, they tell you it's to take out the plug. I drilled a hole in the plug, put it back in and siliconed it. If you want to just take it out, you can. You do have to reshape that hole. That's in the video as well. And then if you have the light kit that goes on here, that comes through there as well. Okay, video, I'll show you how we gotta take off the trim on the driver's side. There's wiring that goes up underneath the seat and there's a box on the passenger side. So you have to take off the trim on the passenger, trim on the driver, and then route it around. So you have all this trim will have to come up. You have to take off this, trim piece here and it routes up to that switch that we installed and all this just pops right off and on the passenger side you have to do the same thing you'll have to pop some of your trim off as well to route that okay so we got to get this bundle over there what we're going to do is route this Through the back side of the seat. And they're not like wires and hanging around everywhere. You won't lose wires everywhere. Well, this becomes even easier. You can just zip time up anywhere. Every time I would see a loose wire, it would drive me insane.
as you bring this big octopus through here. And you can snap all this stuff back in later. But I'm gonna route it to the other side. These are things that are not in the manual. Okay, it's a little hard to see, but there's a box that gets located underneath the back seat. So zip tie that up. And that's your main control box. And same thing on this side, your wiring will drop down and it routes around into those drain plugs and drops down to the floor. So on the other, so on the passenger side plug, same thing. Cut it, slit it. Okay, so they knew that this was gonna have to be filed when it fit. So what happens is you can get all the way through this opening. It's when you get to the backside of the connector. These little corners right here, right here, these little corners right here are gonna have to be filed in the frame or in the body pan itself. So you have to file these corners in the body pan to get this connector through. It would have been nice if these these were left unpinned so that you could stuff the wires through the hole and then put the connector on. Typically they just slide into the hole and you could clip it back together. It would be nice that way there would be no secondary work needed done. Well that's how much I had to file it out. And once again, if rock slide would just leave the ends unpinned and allow you to stick them in the connector wouldn't have to do anything so one thing when you fish your wires there's a track in here you can't be on top of this track otherwise it won't snap back on all right we're going to fish these up to that opening okay something else that maybe a mer merry over from the JK's. When you put this bracket in up under the screw, if you take your doors off, you're gonna hit. So I'm gonna have to readjust this bracket. You see a lot of videos talking about passing things through a grommet. And the firewall, I'm talking about this firewall grommet right here. Well, if you have a stick shift, that is a no-go. You're gonna knock that grommet out and you're gonna hit the piece of plastic that's holding the pedal assembly for the for the clutch pedal. When I called Rock Slide Engineering, it said they fight a grommet to pass through. So I'm gonna to have to go through the main grommet. I'm gonna to to take my passenger side fender off and go through that grommet that way. Your little bundle that I have to pull through that hole in that boot. I'm gonna poke a hole not slice it because the slice will run and won't be able to seal it but if i poke it hopefully it'll self-seal these are for the steps this one is for the switches different project okay so on a manual i had to actually poke through the main boot i've tried to find 100 different ways to do that that's the last thing i wanted to do definitely gonna have to silicone that so I poked it through with the hanger and now I'm trying to pull a fish fish line back through <clears throat> and there's the fish line so just so you know that rubber boot up there see if we can see it get some more light up there So the rubber boot that the main bundle goes up into is where I was forced to push it through. But it goes up through the passenger side up into that main section. And just because you poke it on one side, it's a double boot. So with that, let's finish this thing up. I have to seal it. Okay, so you can get the fish to come through this side. I had to go back on the passenger side and really work it through the area. I siliconed the boot to make sure no water came back through. It's not the cleanest job, but it's not very easy to get to. Just make sure you seal it back up. Okay, so the wiring comes through. 
you mount this switch into that bracket and that allows you to turn the steps on and off and then just run your wire up underneath there tie wrap it all up it'll be nice and clean but the nice feature of these steps are you can turn them off they don't have to come down every time so all the doors will get the switch it just routes around they give you a nice little insulated piece that double-sided tape double-sided tape right underneath the latch they give you good measuring directions for it the switch is wired up in the main to the main wiring harness and Rockslide gives you a good diagram of where to place all these sensors. And then all the doors get these little magnets with this little cover on it. So that that switch can sense it. Pretty easy install. Put it back on, you have to check all these clips. The clip should look like this. And sometimes you break, and they break when they come off. So you just replace them. Just slide into the opening. Snap into place. Let's put it back on. Okay, if you've never put one of these fenders on, it's pretty easy. Here's some alignment pins. And there's you got your mounting locations. Basically, when you put one of these on, the first thing you gotta do is you gotta plug this plug in. So we'll plug this in. Now, basically, you have to make sure it gets into those alignments. on a trail, the reason why is because it snap on just that easy. We got to put the bolts on. I'm missing a couple plastic clips. I got to get some more of those. Four bolts and it's back in. Okay, to wire it's pretty simple. This is your main control that comes through the firewall. One end goes to the hot side, one goes to the ground. From that standpoint, it's pretty easy. You just gotta snap all your covers back on, put all your carpet back in place, and you'll be ready to go. I hope you enjoyed this install of these step sliders. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And we'll see you on our next adventure. This is Jeeping Mo.